<laughs> Welcome to Spooktober. <laughs> This is Dark there, and welcome to Soma. Let's get straight in. It's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munchie? Why is there never enough time? For what? Ooh. Okay. Ah. Ah. Christ. <laughs> My man. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. <laughs> Munchie. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damage. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. All right, it's he. So... There was a nightmare about how he crashed. But it sort of sounded like, oh, I wonder if we can do this. Come on. This is by the amnesia, guys. Let's see. Ah, oh, come on. I want that to break. Put the tracer fluid. I don't care. I want this cup to break. Ah, oh, yeah. That's a bloody indestructible cup right there. Hey, Simon. It's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Hmm. What's this? Oops. <coughs> oh well. I wonder. On, can we break the plates? Tracer fluid. Where are you? Damn it. Right. My keys. What's this? To Simon Jarrett. So that's us. Can we not see what's in here? No? Okay. We'll look in a minute then. Let's turn the lights on. Milk. Just just doing what my dog go, does. Go through the bin, see if there's anything that he's interested in. Nothing but fast food. Should I something healthier in my way home? Wait, was that a... Was that a bit of weed? What's this? A bit of cocaine? Don't know. It's shaped oddly like it. Hmm. There we go. Almost done. I just love being, like, a dick in these games. Just like, Oh shit, I forgot. I chucked all my bloody food out of my fridge. No, it's gonna be horrible. I'm slightly annoyed that stuff doesn't break like an amnesia. Because I think this is by the same guys, isn't it? To do, remind Jesse, pick up meds, flowers for funeral. Oh, yeah. Now it looks a bit like. My kind of house. Bloody hell. Cups are not indestructible game. 
The amount of cups I've accidentally smashed. Like, I haven't been doing this, obviously. Like, oh no, they smashed. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Come on. Okay, right, let's actually go and find that stuff then. Those are some nice posters, though. Right, let's see what's in here. Comb. Sunglasses. Uh, pen knife. No, oh, not in there. Oh, Ryan McConnell. Hooked. Mark and Diana Miller have finally caused a break. We've managed to save up enough money to lake the family on that vacation to Hawaii. And they've been talking about it for so long. They've been talking about it for so long. There's a sun sets over Waki Waki. Bitch, that's first day. Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare of swimmers. A cotton thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Sturdy swimmers, sturdy swimmers are pulling a pole, screaming into the dark water. Desperate to get out of harm's way. Their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, mystical, and absolutely terrifying. Pooked will pull you in. What's this? Lighter. Please think. I think that's a lighter. Yes, that is a lighter. That is indeed a lighter. Right, let's have a look in the air. No, nothing in there. All right, all righty then. Right, let's have a look. No, nothing in there either. There we go. Right, that's bloody empty. Shit! <laughs> oh my god! Look at this chair. Uh, come on, let's do it again. <laughs> I can't even get it now. Come on, get out of the way, chair. Bloody hell. Right, what's his emails? From David Munchie. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at a pace laboratory. Oh, so it's not an accident. It was like they cut into his brain or something. So they purposely damaged it, maybe? On rapid three, your headaches have become less frequent. The latest test results show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's too early to tell how well it will adjust. So the damage and bleeding will continue over the coming months. At least you will need to come to the hospital a few times during the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Some excessive stress could be fatal. I have written you a prescription for paracin. To help you with your nightmares. To help you with your nightmares. Oh, right, yeah. To let you stop the nightmares, not like make them even bad, worse, even. Please read the instructions, medicate. Hi, Jesse. Since you've probably forgot, here's me reminding you. Here's me reminding you that I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Are you not coming into work? This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. Please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are already starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sound much better if they are put on shelves where peop people are actually able to s actually are able to actually see them. Good luck. You'll need it. Simon, send. Better late than never. That's meant to be Photoshop, I think. Oh no, how do I, how do I do this? Ah, okay, right click to go out of stuff. What's this? Uh, drawing pad, looks like. Get 12 soon, love mum. Again, that never happens. Like, I accidentally knocked my toy off as a kid, and it broke instantly. Downtown accident kills young woman, Toronto. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a 
run a red light, causing her to blind side, blind side a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Sandia Road. The mother and our children... <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Travelling a robust SUV were left bruised and but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky and the car crashed into the passenger side. As she hauled 23, it sustained the devastating damages and suffocated from and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, oh, hello, 26 survived, but with complicated results, believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. So yeah, it was a car crash, as I first thought him. Driver of the SUV, whose name has been released by the police, claims it was an accident and uh, practically unavoidable. And then that's the car, and good God, is it wrecked. So our friend is dead, Ashley Hall. So that means it wasn't a nightmare. And we were just reliving it. Cinema Variety, the ultimate movie magazine. Okay, and what else? Class. No, I think that's some film stuff, isn't it? Or is that just a flask? Not sure. Anyway. Massive recoil. John Hugh is a cop, corporate cop working in Hong Kong. One day his life turned. One day his life turned upside down. See, meet Samber, a mysterious foreigner. Oh, you can't do it to the better theme, actually. Who was get prisoner by Golden Dragon Trail. Get ready to get. Get ready to go, Rover. It's time to go against the train. Oh, yeah, you really can't. Okay. Okay. What's this? Mapping mines. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, just some brain stuff. Let's have a look. Is it down the bog? Let's have a good reach. Ah! No, not down there. Um. Hmm. No. No. Let's have a look. In here. No. Oh, hello. There it is. Let's use it. Feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Yeah. Wait, was that a tough? Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a tough. Oh well. It kind of looked tooth shape and it was in there with toothbrush, so I just assumed the worst, this being a horror game. Can we turn the shower on? I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. Bloody hell. Chicken. Chicken? Oh no, I'm scared of a shower. Ooh, what's on the TV? Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Oh. We just put that in. No? Fine. Let's go to the doctor's appointment. <laughs> Matrix guy. It's a Matrix guy. Blue or red pill. Go on, ask me. There's a uh, Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Pick up your phone. Oh. Jesse. Hey Simon, I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Maddie from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well. Hey, dude, guess what? I'm with the Matrix guy. Look, look, I'll try and FaceTime you. Hang on. Good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. 
dying thing? You're the worst support ever. Screw you! Oh, uh, sorry, everyone. I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. That guy keeps unlocking his iPad. Or his tablet of any kind. Non specific. What the hell are you saying? Mm. Stop talking to yourself. I mean, that's what I'm doing now, but I'm doing it for a reason. This is a hoy. How old about how my life got flipped up upside down and I like to take it. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Hello? Dr. Munchie? <laughs> Dr. Munchie. Dr. Munchie. Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Paul, where are you? You've got a few hours. I get a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in reception. You were already here. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run modules. Models, even. And also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow, we could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment, it's supposed to be pretty easy, on Friday I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peak will send somebody over, she has a patent, patient that was recently in a car crash, should be interesting. I found some extra time in the lab today, unfortunately nobody told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Y, to Professor Y! To have him vouch for our project and finally get a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in emails or text, but I will leave a note or something in case we forget. <laughs> right, right click. I keep trying to press escape to go out of it. Um, this is the place, right? It must be. Oh, hello. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. Someone make a clown face. Yeah, someone's made a clown in that bloody painting. I hate clowns, they're just so annoying. I can't give up yet. So. Okay, let's find out what this is. Dr. Munchie? Can you hear me? Hello? Where's the code on this? Um, code. What does it say about the code? I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave a note in case we forget. Okay, so there's a note somewhere. Can we put this in? No. Okay. Uh, put your special. Just put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. Okay, that's not it. That's not it. it was standing around the car in there. Two five zero one. Two five zero one. Let's go try that. James G. Time, okay. Don't know what that is about. That's locked. What's this? 
locked. And that one opened. Okay. Let's see what's in here first. Where's the light? Where's the light? Right. So, this is just doing some brain analysis stuff. Nail gun. Or just a drill, actually. It might just be a drill. I think it's just a drill, actually. Um. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Uh -huh. Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchy. But I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you like uh, me? take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. I don't want to. I'm scared now. Bye. I don't want don't to do this. Around. There's needles and stuff. Shut like up. Bye. Hello. I've come for my appointment. Right. Please, have a seat. I will. Shut up. I'm having a look around. Piss off. Piss off, governor. Can't interact with anything. God damn it. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study, this will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> Don't you bloody dare. Here we go, here comes the mental stuff. Let's get crazy! Error, 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 All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. You just asked me that. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Yes, I am. Version 6. Good. All files in order. Well, this hurt. It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Cheese! Bright light! Bright light! Bright light! Ew! My quail! Gizmo! <laughs> what happened? Hello? Mr. Munchie? Everyone's dead, Simon. Did something go wrong? Everybody's dead, Dave. This isn't funny. Get up. Oh. It was up to me getting up. Oops. Let's see what this is. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in. Ah, my eyes. I can't see. What the hell is this place? How did I get here? Just play with the buttons. Self control in it. Enter drive to use. Door opens and closes automatically. Oh. No, that's not the door opening. I need to turn this mouse sensitivity up. Um, game. Controls, mouse options, mouse sensitivity up a bit. I'm 
unlock terminal from service control. Okay, so we need to find something to put in it. Um, that's not it now. So it's something that needs to go in there, I think. But where is that? There you go. Open. No? Fine. What does it look like? It looks like build shape and optimize your opt right. Okay, so it's what is it? Where is it? Is that it? No. That's not it. That's not it. Hmm. Um. Where the hell was the Omni tool? No. Omni tool. I really can't find any Omni tool. Not there, it's not there. Um Come on, Omni tool. Where's the Omni tool? Why don't it let me open that? Glitched, okay. So, <laughs> if it weren't broken before, Can't do anything with. Is this anything to do with it? I'm going to try. No. Unless I like need to smash some from the fire hose. Fire extinguisher, even. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Pay up a front of it. Better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the concept. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. Okay. So they got attacked and they were trying to hold them off and obviously a lot of them are dead 
don't know if all of them are dead yet, but there's more chance that they are all dead than they're not. Actually, no, they won't all die yet because they need to. The game needs to show us how they die so that we can go ah! at it. Locked off this door. Let's have a look why they locked off the door. Um, hey, you can you talk? Play the same thing now. Oh, okay. Sorry. We just exit out of it. Um. Oh, hello. Everything's coming to life. Now that we know that they might be a threat. What do we want? Tech Depot or. into action I see what's this what can we do with this nothing bugger um, right because I don't know if it's still lurking around. So those things are obviously bad and they malfunctioned. So the machines turned against them. Locked. That's locked too. Hmm. Locked. Are they all locked? Omni Drive. Okay, let's get back into that other room now. Okay. 